exactly oh, the same on tour. Hold on, what's going on here? Mikey Patton showing off his, his yoga, is he? It's a three putt for Muirhead, drop shot. Tight hammer, you know, Caddies have only had a day off this week. True. In between events. Tell you what, that wasn't easy to do what he did. Leg up on the bag like that without knocking it over. Long try for Metro for Birdie. This is through a funnel on this green. Ball comes down to the hole. She's got her favourite hybrid in the bag. 216 yards to this pin. Looking to draw one in there. Oh, and it's overdone it. Depends on the lie. Well, of course, we won't be on air early enough, will we, to hear the uh, the teams in their music when they go on the first tee. Man and DeRoy's team needing. Don't stop me now, Queen. They're having a good time, aren't they? Oh, nice. Emily Pedersen's was the one. Shot. Spoke about how good she felt playing with Emily Pedersen. She'll want to contribute to this team. Best finish on the LET, second in the Indian Open, and obviously Emily Pedersen has won that event. She had a big lead, didn't she, coming down the back nine? Unfortunately, a, a, a big lead slip against Camille Chevalier. I mentioned. Uh, Caroline Hedwar and her criminology Justin and the fact that her sister's a police woman. Michelle was a police constable for a while, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. She played on tour, didn't enjoy it, came off, went, joined the police. Yeah. So Van Dam gets herself to six under par, closing in on the lead. Took her a little while to get going. Last week had a poor first day. Just seems to be getting better as the days go by. This golf course is tailor made for Anne Van Dam. You need to be long off the tee and hit lots of greens. You know, you saw the eagle put there that she left short. She just needs to be more positive with her with her putts, get a few more rolling in. No surprise that she's up there in third place this week. Yeah. That's a good two put from the back edge. Here, Caroline in the wind, shouting at that one, not happy. If you, if you look at the difference, you, you know, Swedish players, Anna Nordfist, fantastic pace putter. Headwall struggles in that department, long and short. Face full of sand, but when she wipes that sand away, she'll be happy. Good champion. Uh, Going to be here, Bryce and uh, Deshambo, of course, and Dustin Johnson. Of course, the 13th hole is a par four for the men when they come here. Is it just on me, Michelle? I think so, yeah. Plays the hardest hole for the men. Yeah, we had some 65s here, a couple today. In the last two, it's 61 Dustin Johnson shot. And apparently he didn't even know he shot that. He was asked about whether he was getting excited about a 59. He said, well, what's the par of the course? that attitude it's the attitude that everybody wants isn't it that carefree i'm not bothered about where the ball goes i just hit it and find it charlie hall talks talks a lot about that not thinking about what happens next 
one shot at a time. That's what every psychologist says for you to do. And at the moment, DJ is by far the best at that. In the uh, men's, uh, number one on the race to Costa del Sol rankings is Emily Pedersen. Oh, and push. it's not by doing that. Michelle changed her putter and shot minus six and came second to Paul Laurie in a Tartan Tour event. Got every confidence with this two ball now. Gone to the claw grip also. This for Birdie. Well well Finds it. Just joined Paul Laurie's management group as well. So they're both from Aberdeen supporter of a female and male golf Paul Laurie I know he's helped Michelle out a lot in advice good save from Hedwell and a fist bump from her as well I mean he is I mean so many players in Scotland that Paul Laurie in one way or another uh, has assisted it's been incredible what the uh, 1999 Open Champions done for Scottish golf and it continues here in Katrina Matthew Scottish Golf Union Charlie from position A on 14. Flags 14 on nine on the right can go straight at it here. When a bogey. Well, this is where she came a light on Sunday, the last five holes. Let's hope for the same today. Well, because Michelle Thompson has uh, made a birdie there, I make it that uh, Team Pedersen probably will go up to 23 under. out to the golf course Caroline Headwall two under for her round so far 16th playing 154 yards oh now that is so unlucky for Caroline Headwall hitting the base of the pin ricocheting and going off and now she's got a tricky up and down for par just inside the top 20 at the moment for Headwall now Charlie Hull uh, everything not quite gone her way so far today for Charlie late in the day we saw last night the sun sets very very quickly houseman at the last just drifting towards the water but that's going to pull up long range effort for birdie coming up for her but it's still luna sabron went out early posted a five round of 65 today to get to 10 under par that was alison muirhead for par horrible lip out for her not having the greatest day, still a smile on her face. She'll have better days on the course. Good to see, see she's still enjoying it. This for a bogey five for Friedrich. We'll drop the team down with a with a bogey and uh, this to remain minus three for the tournament it all depends what the amateurs done mind you true yeah it's thinking Although, like a professional dismissing yeah. the amateurs that's not good from me well you, but you're right i mean every likelihood that it it is Although uh, they do have Majid Al Sarur yeah, in the sorry, team. Sorry, Majid, he knows his course very well. He gets nine shots as well, so he might get a shot here. It's for a par for Charlie Hulk. I mean, take Luna Savron out of the equation at the top, which of course you can't individually, but I mean, it's very tightly bunched behind Charlie yeah. Hull amongst the chasers. All right. One at the start of last year in Abu, D Abu Dhabi. Another course out in the desert. Charlie Holt. Now here's Sophie Hausman. We saw the shot in. Got a lengthy uphill putt here for her birdie. 
realistically two put in this and looking to get out of here with a good day. Yeah, just about to celebrate a year as a professional, the uh, German, who was one of those that teed it up at the Augusta National Women's Amateur last year, did Sophie. Now, after nearly getting a one, struggling for three. Hall from through the fairway here on 14. Rough isn't too bad this week. Uphill into the wind. Need to control the ball flight here. Try and hit it through the wind rather than have it balloon up. Catch a piece. Should work its way down there. Twenty-four yards here for Pedersen. You see the curtail follow through. Trying to hit a punch in here. Catch that slope. Yeah, that's the slope that Charlie Hull failed to capitalise on. So this to get in the clubhouse at three under par for a round of 71. Well done, good couple of days for the 23-year-old German. Maybe heading for her first LET top 10. Van Damme looking to find this whole location. 17 on six from the left. Requires a draw and another club. It's so easy to finish short on 15. You're hitting it back into the wind on the right-hand side and it really buffers it and takes a few yards off, off your shot. Uh, still a lot to play for this year for Emily Pedersen. Right, Charlie Hull, there's still another major this season. Everyone thinks the final major's been played with the uh, the Masters, of course. Off to uh, Texas for the US Women's Open. This par 550, 3.87. Plays one of the hardest holes on the golf course because it's so exposed. And it has a, a tricky green as well, doesn't it? Very fast green. Dries out in the wind as the day goes on. The line off the tee is the crane in the distance. the difference of the T between Hull and Frederick there. Charlie Hull, one of the longest hitters out here. Good 30 yards between those two tee shots. Well, she doesn't deserve a drop shot after that tee shot, but has to make this for three. Oh, another head ball fist pump. Nearly had a car to go with the watch, though, didn't she? Have to fly home, won't be driving. Annabelle Dimmock here on the left hand side. Oh, went for it, but nowhere near the 18th there. Finds the middle of the water.
Yeah, Team Dimmock leading overnight and now in a share of 11th place. They're only one under par as a team <laughs> this afternoon. And uh, remember Leanne Pace predicting that her team would be sixth. They're in a share of fifth right now. Paul trying to cozy one down there. This hole is in, in a bowl. Everything filters down to it. Well, I think tomorrow our heads are going to be spinning, trying to keep across who's going up, who's got what putt to make what, and get themselves individually as a team. And obviously to try our best to keep abreast of all of it, but there was uh, going to be a lot going on. Pedersen, this is to make her first birdie on the back nine. Big swing. Two cups right to left here. I think we can predict that Emily Pedersen will be involved somewhere along the line. Yes. Just grab the left edge. And back amongst the birdies. First since the seventh, eight under parts. Second on our own and two back. And of course, it takes Team Pedersen to the top of the leaderboard. Charlotte Thompson, this will be her second, one of the longest hitters out here, iron in hand. Can't be more than seven iron here for Thompson. Gets a piece of that front edge. She's got that for Eagle. Yeah, they could do with it. Van Dam just off the putting surface. It's well judged. Michelle tapping in for her par four. about another hour or so's worth of uh, daylight the sun will certainly uh, start to set over the next uh, 45 minutes or so we just about got it done yesterday i think we're going to get it done today as well obviously with an individual and a team event the likelihood of a, a playoff of course doubles and i think if we do have a playoff i'm assuming the lights will go on on 18 because they've got floodlights on the the back nine here at royal greens golf and country club Metro tidying up for her par four here on the 15th. It's definitely not as windy as yesterday. Yesterday, this green was treacherous. Oh, slips by that left-hand side. Serena Schmidt, the uh, third professional in this uh, group with uh, Van Van Damme. She's been going on OK, one under par today. Couple over for the tournament for the German player. Any term pro like uh, her compatriot Sophie Hausman at the start of the year.
par four for last year's German international amateur champion. A year later, out on the links with Anne Van Dam in her team. Now, His Excellency Yasir Al Rumian, the chairman of Golf Saudi. Plays off 18, so he's getting a few shots. Also, uh, the governor of Public Investment Fund and the, the chairman of Saudi Aramco, so a big supporter of these events these two weeks. And he's got a decent partner out there in Anne Van Dam. Emily Pedersen's team at the moment leading the way by a, a single shot but uh, I think it's all going to be very tight isn't it going into uh, tomorrow's final round look at the number of teams there at uh, 23 under par Kylie Henry's team have uh, popped up haven't they the Scots alongside Laura Murray and uh, and Charlotte Mora There'll be a few important team talks tonight. Captain saying that anybody can win from this position right now. Uh, and it really is true. I mean, five shots separating all those teams. And you can easily pick up a couple of shots on a hole, a couple of birdies in your team, and you can jump up a couple of places. $32,500 for each player in the team. And that's the state of affairs as uh, far as the individual prize is concerned. And 